morning people, welcome back to Kids Zone. It is really good to see you today. Uh, I hope you're going to enjoy being with us. We're going to read the story today of Joseph, who you'll probably remember had a very special quote and we're going to hear all about him today. We're going to pray together, we're going to worship God and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to sing a song and the song is called God is Good All the Time. And we're going to do the actions to it. But there's a big break in the middle where it gives you a chance to get up and to dance. So do your own thing in that and really just remember that God is good all the time. So let's stand up and let's start our session this morning with God is good all the time. Let's go. God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, it's light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. If you're walking through a valley, there are shadows all around. Do not fear. He will guide you. He will keep you safe and sound. He has promised. Mary, the one who saved you, and His word is true. God is good all the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. Sinners and so unworthy, still for us he chose to die. Fill us with his Holy Spirit, now we can stand and testify that his love is everlasting and his mercy. They will never end. God is good all the time. Put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. the saying, the green-eyed monster. Well, if someone says that, they mean someone who is jealous. Jealous of other people, jealous of their things, jealous of what they've got. And today we're going to hear the story of Joseph's brothers who were very jealous of Joseph. 
But when I tell the story today, and I'm going to use the first Bible from the Lion series, I don't want you to think about the story, except I want you to think about where is God in the story? Where do you think God is in the story? So as I tell it, I'd like to listen and then see if you can work out where God is in this story of Joseph and his jealous brothers. The jealous brothers. Joseph had a brand new coat. His father had given it to him. It had zigs and zags and stripes, red and blue and yellow. It was a special coat, not one for every day, but Joseph wore it all the time. Look at me, Joseph said to his brothers. Look at me in my new coat. Dad's always giving you things. He loves you more than us. It's not fair, his brothers shouted. Joseph had ten big brothers and one little brother. But none of them, not even little Ben, had a new coat like this one. Their father Jacob did love Joseph best, and it wasn't fair. The brothers were jealous. One day, when his brothers were away minding the sheep, Jacob said to Joseph, go and make sure everything's all right. So Joseph set off to find them. He was wearing his special coat. They saw him coming from way away. How well they knew that coat with its zigs and zags and stripes, red and blue and yellow. Here comes dream boy, they said. Now's our chance to get rid of him. We can call dad and tell him a fierce wild animals killed him. They were so spiteful they wanted to kill Joseph, but Reuben tried to save him. Throw him down this well instead. No need to hurt him, Reuben said. So they tore off Joseph's coat and threw him down a well. Let me out! Please let me out! Joseph begged, but they pretended not to hear. Then some men came riding by. Their camels were loaded with precious things to sell in faraway Egypt. Let them have Joseph, Judah said. They can sell him too. So Joseph was taken to faraway Egypt. The brothers made Joseph's special coat all dirty and messy. Then they went home. A fierce wild animal must have killed him, Joseph said when he saw the coat. He cried and cried. He thought he would never see Joseph again. But God had a special plan for Joseph. So did you work it out? Where was God in the story of Joseph? Well, of course, it's a bit of a trick question, isn't it? Because God was with Joseph all the way through his life. But in this part of the story, we see that Joseph, he wasn't a particularly good guy. He was making his brothers jealous. He was showing off. He was trying to show that he was better than the rest of them. And because of that, his brothers didn't like him very much. But God loved him and God had a purpose for him and a plan for him. So when we look at the story, that last wee clue came up in that last sentence and it says this, but God had a special plan for Joseph. Isn't that amazing? But you know what's even more amazing is that God has a special plan for you and for me. And if we say to God, take us and use us, he will take us and he will protect us, he will care for us, he will look after us, he will never leave us or forsake us. And he'll make sure that we are able to make his plan come into place. He loves you and he's got a plan especially for you. Isn't that amazing? When we pray, we speak to God and we listen to what he has to say to us. And sometimes those prayers are in the Bible and sometimes we say them from our hearts just with our own words. But today I'm going to join our prayer along with a verse from the Bible. And that's because it's a really important verse for each one of us as we remember how good God is. And the verses are from Ephesians chapter 3. And it says this, 
So listen carefully and maybe join in with the actions. And we're going to try and repeat this throughout the week. So let's do that together. It says this, I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have the power to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Jesus and to know this love and be filled to the measure of the fullness of God. How amazing is that prayer? Will we say it again? And then at the end we'll say an Amen. Because it's a prayer that Paul, who wrote this, is saying for us and for all of the people who love him. So let's do this. So it says this. I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have the power to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Jesus and to know this love and be filled to the measure of the fullness of God. And what do we say to it? We say Amen. And Amen just means, yeah, we agree. That's amazing. Let's go for it. That's our prayer. So Amen to that prayer. Thank you for being with us today. It's been so good to have you along. It would not be the same without you. I hope that you're going to join in with us. So please put a message onto our Facebook page or onto our uh, YouTube channel and just tell us how much you're getting involved with the Kids Zone. We will see you tomorrow and we'll continue with the story of Joseph tomorrow. But meanwhile, stay active, stay smiling, stay praying. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. See ya.